good morning teacher this is the presentation of intro kokas it has been prepared by s1 krishi k shivam gurmat timesh <coughs> topic covered will be general feature habitat classification and types significance in milk and milk product role in fermentation detection principle probiotic concept i am rishi kesh and i am explain the general feature of intro kokas species Sherman divided Streptococcus into four divisions based on the presence of cell wall antigens or other par- parameters such as physical property, growth, temperature, requirement, etc. He placed Enterococcus group D. They are such group A, B, C, and etc. Intro means they are the general p- form in intestine mammals, worm breeding animals. They are also earlier known as fecal streptococci they are placed in group d so this is also called group d streptococcus they are facultatively anaerobic culture negative gram positive cocci arranged individual in pair and short chain intercocus can cause urinary tract wonder and soft tissue infection they can be alpha beta gamma hemolytic based on their pathogen they special agar used for intercocus species the agar is called bile scoline and giant agar this is used to grow group d streptococcus that is intercocus it is differential media that is only allowed to intercocus to grow and exhibit the growth the other gram positive and other gram negative thank you patel my topic is variant sources of enterococci so sources of enterococci ranges from intestinal tract of a man and a variety of farm animals to different forms of food and feed so it is clear that enterococci is widely spread bacteria Several studies demonstrated that enterococci were present almost everywhere in food chain as well as in environment like uh, it is mainly present in uh, water sources soil and uh, different components present in environment the the variant sources consist of primary and secondary sources uh, in primary sources it is divided in uh, three categories animals humans and environment animals enterococci constituted a large proportion of orthochronous bacteria uh, orthochronous bacteria it means the bacteria which are native of a particular region they are found especially in that region always associated with the mammalian uh, mammalian mammalian gastrointestinal intestinal tract however although it is generally believed that the primary habitat of enterococci is intestinal contents of warm blood blooded animals warm blooded animals include birds and mammals gastrointestinal contents of and also present in gastrointestinal contents of cold blooded animals the two most important bacteria of enterococci species are enterococcus physium and enterococcus faecalis Enterococcus physium is the most important common species found in intestinal tract of dairy cattle so it is clear uh, that it is mainly found in intestinal tract of dairy cattle uh, and uh, enterococcus faecalis is mostly found in animal feces the residue uh, to be uh, collected after now the food, uh, food is completely or uh, the food waste of animals now we come to the second category of uh, primary sources in humans enterococcus faecalis is the often predominant species to be found in human feces when comparing humans to animals enterococcus faecalis enterococcus physium and enterococcus durans are the most frequently isolated from human feces so human feces can be called as good source of this particular species of enterococci and uh, Coming to the third category of primary sources, environment. 
एंड कई आर हैविंग एबिलिटी टू ग्रो इन अनफेवरेबल कंडीशन एंड हैंस दे कैन बी सेट टू बी प्रजेंट एवरीवेयर इन द एनवायरमेंट लाइक दे आर लाइक दे आर प्रजेंट इन सीवेज वॉटर सरफेस वॉटर एनिमल्स फीड फॉर्म लैंड फर्टिलाइज एंड हैंस दे मे आल्सो कोज मेनी डिसीजेस इफ दे आर पैथोजेनिक स्पीसीज ऑफ एंट्रोकोकस नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सेकेंडरी सोर्सेज ऑफ एंट्रोकोकस स्पीसीज द फर्स्ट वन इज एंट्रोकोकाई इन फूड्स एज वी डिस्कस प्रीवियसली अबाउट द वाइट स्प्रेड अक्रेंस ऑफ एंट्रोकोकस स्पीसीज इन इंटेस्टिनल ट्रैक्ट ऑफ एनिमल्स एंट्रोकोकाई एंड अदर ग्रुप डी स्ट्रेप्टोकोकाई अदर ग्रुप डी स्ट्रेप्टोकाई आर प्रेजेंट इन मेनी फूड्स स्पेशली इन दोज ऑफ एनिमल ओरिजिन दोज फूड्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू एनिमल लाइक फीड फूडर दे आर प्रेजेंट मेनली इन सच टाइप ऑफ फूड्स दे आर फॉर द आइसोलेशन ऑफ एंट्रोकाई देर फॉर द आइसोलेशन ऑफ एंट्रोकोकाई फिकालीस एंड एंट्रोकोकाई फिशियम इन फूड्स has often been used to indicate a primary contamination with feces this is uh, a good point because this bacteria is a good source to indicate or to detect the primary contamination with feces uh, thank you sir now my presentation now we हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग माय नेम इज गुरमत सिंह फ्रॉम बीटेक डीटी फर्स्ट ईयर एंड टुडे आई एम हियर टू प्रेजेंट माय प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ एंट्रोकाई सिग्निफिकेंस एंड इट्स कंट्रोल इन डेरी माइक्रोबायोलॉजी फर्स्ट आई वांट टू डिस्कस द रोल ऑफ दिस एंट्रोकाई एज सीन इन milk generally these entrokai are seen as a contaminants in milk earlier in earlier times the belief was that that entrokai have usually been related to unhygienic condition primarily due to contact with cow fecus now this perception has changed due to the fact that it is very common to find entrokai in other sources also <coughs> contradicting what was formerly a soil fecal contamination it was seen that entrokai can either enter the milk chain either primarily or from human or animal fecus but also secondarily from contaminated water sources the exterior of the animal and other contaminated milk equipment so bulk storage tank handle in the processing plant therefore it is now accepted that entrokai naturally occurs in raw milk and whey as part of their microbial population within normal ranges and that high counts actually reveal poor pasteurization or unsatisfactory hygiene practices so these entrokai are blessed with their thermophilic and psychotropic nature so they are being isolated as a natural starter cultures because of these properties so thermo you know we know that thermophilic means they can survive at high temperatures also psychotropic means they can survive and grow even at refrigeration temperature traditionally natural entrokai cultures can be kept by pasteurizing raw milk and incubating it at 42 to 44 degrees celsius for 12 to 15 hours thus promoting the selection of thermophilic and 
heat resistant lab on the same context enterococcus bacteria are often isolated as essential microflora from natural way which is the result of their presence in raw milk from which the whey derives so coupled with this milk acidity reached by these cultures after incubation of the whey at the end of cheese making now in this whole presentation i would discuss about enterococci and mainly focus it on cheese production because the major role of this enterococci is to manufacture the mostly european cheeses and italian cheeses from raw and pasteurized milk so they are of very little importance in india now today also so they can act as these four types starter cultures no starter cultures probiotics and protective cultures as seen here so let's move to starter cultures and no starter culture basically the difference between starter culture and no starter culture as we know that starter culture is used for acid production and no starter culture can be purpose rather than acid production also the two species fagium and fecalis has been found very helpful in good as a good acidifying and proteolysis agents the cheeses which are prepared by these cultures are italian semi curto caprino and cabrio cheese and also e fascium is found having a high potential as a known traditional starter culture in the manufacturing of homemade toffee cheese so this was all about starter culture and one thing to be noted that besides its good acidifying and proteolysis activities the amount of acid and the amount of proteolysis it does to milk is not sufficient for production of bulk cheese so commercially it is of very minor importance and used very little and it if it is used it is used for the specific cheeses that i have mentioned above like italian semi cotto caprino and cabrio cheese at last these no starter cultures are the best way to use entokai rather than starter cultures once i repeat no starter cultures can be a best way to prepare cheese rather than starter cultures because it clearly indicate due to low acid production and one thing also added to no starter culture is that they have played a fundamental role as a no starter culture in food fermentation also they can also be helpful in preparing cheeses such type as bonaco cheese water buffalo mozzarella cheese and cabrio cheese also so this type of cheese can be prepared now one more essential function of its no starter culture of entrecocci is that they are also known as for their bacterial surfaces smearing ripening flora i didn't know no much about this process but or oh, no much only that after this process the cheese is prepared with this entrecocci having the high content of soluble nitrogen total free amino acids volatile free as fatty acids long chain free fatty acids and diacetyl and acetoin contents so this was all about starter culture and non starter culture of entro cocaine
let's move to its another function which is probiotics they can be a huge beneficially to human as well as animal when it is used as a probiotics generally probiotics are mixed culture of living organism which is beneficial for health of animals especially milk when consumed by improving the indigenous gastrointestinal flora probiotics generally these probiotics are used for animal to enhance the productivity and to humans for their health along with improving the gastrointestinal flora they can inhibit the growth of pathogenic microorganisms within stomach and also can strengthen the gut mucosal barrier and also stimulate the immune system and lower the blood cholesterol levels so in recent studies it has been found that the cheddar cheese is the best for as a carrier of this strain of e fascium pr88 and sf68 i repeat the use of cheese as delivery system of safe probiotic strain has been attempted studying the possibility of some type of cheese for delivery of probiotic strains to the gastrointestinal tracts of human thus e fascium pr88 and e fascium sf68 has been found productive to do the work of probiotics so all this cheddar cheese is found a good carrier of these two strains and these two strains have been found uh, essential probiotics to human as well as animal the additional properties of sf68 is that along with this whole function improving the immune system strengthening the gut mucosal barrier also inhibiting the pathogenic growth it can also treat intestinal disorders or intestinal disease so i can think it enter kokai has been playing the major role in as a probiotics and no it can be used probiotics can be used as a replacer of antibiotic and no side effect has been reported till now so last is protective culture i didn't study much about this protective cultures but i know that some some strains of entrococci has been playing as an has been playing a key role in natural preservation of food by controlling competing and inhibiting the growth of undesirable bacteria thus they are also known as bacteria preservatives or protective cultures and the strains which do the work are known as enterocins or bacteriocins so below is the circle of applications of entrococci and enterocins in various fields till we know mainly generally entrococci are very focused on food systems rather than veterinary and medical applications in foods these strains are used dairy products start cultures non start cultures plus probiotics meat and fish also non start cultures probiotics here protective cultures also in medical applications we can use probiotics in vet veterinary applications also probiotics are used so at last control of entrococci bacteria in dairy products it has been seen that pasteurization alone is sufficient for the minimizing the counts of this kind of bacteria although they can survive even after pasteurization but their count is very low so here is the chart of this bacteria three species of entrococci which are seen 
generally in raw milk and here is the count per ml such as of e fecalis, e fecalisium and e durance and total entrococi you can see there is huge fall of count after pasteurization so I think pasteurization as pasteurization is a common process in common dairy operation so no need of another process is there for the minimizing of this count of this kind of entrococi bacteria so I think this is the sufficient process pasteurization is a sufficient process for control of entrococi bacteria thank you sir for calmly listening to me I hope you like this presentation thank you sir Good morning sir, my name is Eswan Singh Rajput and my topic is Entococci bacteria. So I would like to explain about pathogenicity of the Entococci bacteria. Entococci are opportunistic pathogen in urinary tract and bloodstream. They are the major cause of urinary infections. They commonly cause polymicrobial abdominal and pelvic infections. They are implicated in approximately 10% of all urinary tract infections and 60% of nosocomial urinary tract infections. Nosocomial basically means that the infections which occurred in the hospital and or any clinical region, they are third leading cause of nosocomial bacteremia. Mostly these bacteria affect patients which are already suffering underlying condition and uh, or immunocompromised condition infections due to this are rare now we'll proceed with next slide for entrococci to cause diseases several barriers must first be overcome an initial barrier is the ability to overcome colonization resistance provided by competing microbes and host defenses such as gastric and bile acid and colonize the intestinal tract. Colonization of the GI tract has been shown to be directly associated with risk of infection. Infections occur when intracocci overwhelm host defenses. Thank you sir. Hello everyone. My name is Dinesh Kodara, Detection Principal, General Property. Enterococcus produce gas from glucose, but most of enterococcus are negative. Enterococcus have ability to grow at 45 degrees Celsius and 10 degrees Celsius. Enterococcus can grow at media containing bile asculin. Enterococcus are also grow in the presence of 6.5% sodium chloride and 40% bile. When grown on media containing asculin, enterococci hydrolyze the asculin producing black colonies. Entrococcus resist pH till 9.6. They grow in 6.5% NaCl solution. They grow at 45 degrees Celsius can withstand up to 60 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Entrococcus grow in 0.1% methylene blue milk. Entrococcus give PYR test positive. In different media agar. First, blood agar. Entrococci are mainly non-hemolytic. But in blood agar, strains so alpha and beta hemolysis. Second, McConkey and clade. In McConkey, it produces pink colonies, and in clade, it produces small yellow colonies. Laboratory methods of detection. First, direct microscopy method. In this method, we doing gram smear. Second, culture. In this method, we use blood and McConkey agar. Some other type of agar media like BEA and citrate acid agar are also used in laboratories. Catalyzed test for enterococcus is negative. Here we can see the different type of colony formation in different type of media agar. In clay agar there are small yellow colonies. In blood agar red colonies, BEA, McConkey, pink colonies. Thank you.